It's complete and out of bounds. And going out is Nat Morris. Jim Reeves, the strong safety, drove him out. The secondary is crippled today. Sensenbaugh and Nelson are injured, maybe out for the season. Carl Ellen is starting at left cornerback. Worley will be over the other side. He won't be going much his way. Ken Reeves and Jeff Severson is starting in place of Lee Nelson. So the Cardinals are missing two of the four deep players today. First down, Miami on their 49. Gary Davis, Davis to the 50, escape. Still going, first down. Out of bounds in Cardinal territory on the Cardinal 35. Driven out by Mike Dawson. Excellent block by Andre Tillman, John Brody. And I'll tell you, Kurt, sometimes where you're really effective, you have new people in the secondary, is the fact that, as you see, these fellas are holding their own up front. If they get a good force, Reeves comes up, does his part. However, you need some help from the safety. Severson couldn't get there in time. You see, he's a little late making the play. They don't bring him down when they do get to him. And that sometimes makes it very tough. Now the Cardinal fans anxious here in the early minutes. Their club being moved on. <laughs> Gary Davis pounding off right guard. He may be to the 31. Ron Yankowski, veteran left defensive end, tripped him up there. Put it on the 32 is where they spot him down. We have a flag down. So let's see what this one's about. Today's officials, Fred Wyatt, the referee, Tom Hensley, the umpire, Leo Miles, the head linesman, Don Orr, the line judge, Jimmy Rosser, the back judge, and Fred Swearingen, the field judge. Mentally goes against the Cardinals. Offside, number 76, defense. That's the against hell? Charlie Davis, the right tackle. Miami now has a first and five on the Cardinal 30. We're just underway, there's no score. Dolphins took the opening kickoff, have driven from their 37 to the 30-yard line. There are the glasses on Greasy, the only quarterback who wears glasses in the National Football League. We'll talk about those glasses in a minute. Gary Davis to the 27-yard line. Greasy actually has two pairs of glasses. And uh, he started off with contact lenses. He had double vision last year. Started off with contact lenses. Final game of the preseason went to the plastic job. He says the one thing that bothers him is sweat. He won't be sweating here today. May get a little fog, but he has anti-fog material on his uh, spare pair of glasses. He's had all kinds of suggestions, hundreds from all over the country, of how to wear glasses and play football. I thought it turned pretty good before he used them, too. That's Leroy Harris with a flag drop. Looks like a face mask, Kurt. It does. A face mask penalty may be coming up. Let's take a look at this one from the ground and see what happens. Well, oftentimes, when you're trying to hit somebody high to keep them from going forward, as Eric Williams does here, he's been an outstanding linebacker for him. He's from USC. He hasn't been able to play much. Been very enthusiastic. Grab the face mask, not intentionally, but sometimes you can't keep your hands out of the way. The telecast presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Cardinal Football Club and the National Football League is prohibited. Face mask penalty. That gives the Dolphins a first down. First down. Miami on the Cardinal. 19-yard line. Eric Williams, the guilty party, a rookie from Southern Cal. Bob Greasy brings him up. 11 years in the National Football League. Evansville, Indiana. Gary Davis. Not much. Double yards. Trying to run behind Kuchenberg and Langer. He's having a pretty good time with him. Solomon is split wide left. Nat Moore to the right. Backs are split. Flag is down. The Cardinals may be offside. The pitch is to Gary Davis out of the backfield at the 10, at the 5, and he rolls to the 3. Greasy is very clever, changing his cadence at the line of scrimmage. He could draw you offside. It looks like to me, John, the right tackle and right end might have jumped. I'm not sure. Well, I couldn't no tell it was the right side, but the impressive quarterbacks have been able to do it. Once he
he does draw them offside, he continues with the play, and they won't have to use the penalty. That's just good heads-up offensive football. So the play is declined, the offside penalty, and Miami now on the St. Louis Cardinal three-yard line, first and goal to go. Jeff Severson has come out, and Tim Carney has gone in as an extra linebacker as the Cardinals are getting their goal line defense in. Laird McCrary, a second tight end, has moved in. Solomon is out. Both clubs getting power and bulk in there now, down around the goal line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be the eighth play for Miami on this drive. They took the opening kickoff, ran it back to their 37, and now they're on a St. Louis Cardinal three-yard line. Those last three are off from the toughest. They have one setback, and that's Leroy Harris. They're going to throw. Quick one. Touchdown. And catching the ball there is Matt Moore. That'll be his eighth touchdown of the year. And can you execute a drive any better than that? <laughs> it actually looked like the Miami Dolphins were going through skeleton drill practice. He comes up, cuts underneath Carl Allen. When you're all alone out there, the one cardinal sin is to allow that man down underneath you. He got underneath him. It just looks like regular old throwing practice. Greasy's excellent when he gets down toward the goal line. He usually comes up with the right number. He did again. Girl, you premium. For the point, Larry Seipel will hold. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Miami leading 7-0, and now we'll see the Cardinals with the ball when we return. Three yards, nine plays, 12-22 remaining in the first period. Michelle, a rookie, kicking off from Stanford, of course. <laughs> a high, short kick, and Metcalf takes it on a 15, 30. He has a hole, and he's all the way out to the 45. He's hit by Dick Anderson. Quick gap open up, and Metcalf bursts through. Now the Cardinals in offense. Jim Hart, the quarterback. Metcalf and Wayne Moore. Morris is back. He was injured against Dallas. J.B. Cave, the tight end. Mel Gray and Ike Harris are the wide receivers. Bears beat the Lions, the final, 31-14 in Detroit. St. Louis under 45 with a first down. Fumble by Hart. Everybody grabbing for it. And it looks like the Dolphins may have it. I think Dewey got it. A.G. Dewey, the rookie from Louisiana State, Dolphin ball. He's all hopped up. He was a regular with LSU when he was 17 years old, A.G. Uh, Dewey. He's only 21 right now. Looks like he's got a long career in front of him. Dolphins came up with a gold strike. The two rookies, Bob Hauer, their number two pick last year, a rookie of Alabama, and A.G. Dewey, their number one pick, a rookie from LSU. First down. Miami on the Cardinal 41. McCrary is in a tight end right now. They're running Gary Davis to the 40, 35. And right now the Cardinals are not able to contain Miami on the ground or in the air. Larry Little pulling and blocking. Again, we see it. Again, again, we see a situation where you get somebody out there, give him a chance to run. The cornerback does his, his job of containment, but the pursuit is just a little late getting there. First down, Miami. There's the final, 31-14. Walter Payton had 137. He needs an average of 150 yards, starting with today's game, his last four, to go by O.J. Simpson's all-time season record of 2003. He was close to that average today. So the Bears win. And they're right behind the Vikings in their division. Roy Harris, tripped up at the 27 by Marv Kellum, the middle linebacker. Second down, eight. Dolphins on the Cardinal 27. The second time these two teams have ever met. They met first in Miami, 1972. The Dolphins were the team that went undefeated that year. 17, a perfect season. Beat the Cardinals, 32 to 10. Solomon has come in now. McCrary has gone out. So Solomon and Matt Moore, the wide receivers. Solomon has been hurt most of the year. This is second and eight. Draw play. 
And it's piled up by Marv Kellum, who took Leroy Harris. Spread out, they're almost an old piece of use spread of Dutch fire. Lacey's pass, he hits his man for a first down. And that is Jim Mandich, the tight end, who's always been a specialist coming in on third down plays to catch the ball. Well, and he's, he's played an awful lot of first string tight ends for them also. His board is catching balls in between linebackers. He's the kind of guy you can count on, comes up with a lot of big plays. They can have as many people as they want back there, but if they keep giving Bob Greasy that much time to throw the ball, he's going to find his men. Greasy and the Dolphins have been perfect so far. They have made a mistake out there. They marched 63 yards with the opening kickoff and scored. Now they're right back again after recovering a fumble. And Greasy is four out of four. You didn't need those gloves out there next touchdown pass. He used to play high school football with Joe Washington, who went on to Oklahoma. Okay, he played a high school team on there with those two on it. Here's the kick right down the middle, out to the 10 to 15, and up to the 22-yard line with a tackle made on Terry Metcalf by Benny Malone. We haven't had a chance to set up the Cardinals. We set up the uh, offense for you the last time on first down. That was it. The backs, wide receivers and tight end. Here's their offensive line. Finney at left tackle, Young at left guard, Banks at center, Dobler at right guard, and Keith Wartman at right tackle. Deardoff has been taken to the hospital this morning with infection in his broken jaw. And uh, he'll be watching the game in the hospital. Metcalf, fumble again. The dive for the ball. And the Cardinals recover. They're the cardiac kids, all right, only the other way. They're giving your fans heart problems in their head coach here. They fumbled the first time they had the ball lost it. It cost them a touchdown. First quarter, so they don't know what they can do yet. They have a second down 10. Cardinals under 22. Metcalf buried at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins are... Getting back to the days of the no-name defense. They're rebuilding five rookie starters on their defensive team, but a typical swarming Miami defense, gang tackling. Norris Thomas is the left corner, but he's a key man. He's a rookie this year. Reliable Kirk Johnson, the right corner, Tim Foley, and another rookie, Vern Roberson, playing the safety. Third down, seven. Cardinals under 25. Miami looking for the pass now. Jim Hart, he nearly lost the ball, and it's dropped by Metcalf. Ball was nearly taken away by Hart. Well, Hart did an excellent job, Kurt, just to hang on to the ball. Good penetration, Baumhauer almost got to it. Really tried to take a stab at the ball. Done a job on those two rookie interior wives. Dewey and Baumhauer have both held their own. They're responsible for this play. Larry Gordon comes in from the side, Matheson gets it from the other. Let's watch Baumhauer a lot today against the draw play. He's the nose guard in a three-down line. And he has to hold ground there and watch for that draw. Rookie, now Hart, is firing down the middle, wide open, and Kane, the tight end. And J.B. Kane carries him inside the 15. When you say wide open, I mean he was wide open. Somebody threw an assignment, so what's anyone within 15 yards? Somebody has had to have thrown an assignment. From the end zone, John. Excellent pass protection by their offensive line. However, he didn't need much to hit time as he was open from the time he left the line of scrimmage. You see, <laughs> cornerbacks had to come over and make the play. He is the only number one pick on the Cardinals offensive unit, which leads the NFL in total offense. Cardinals have their first first down of the game. They're on the Miami 13. They're trailing 14 to nothing. Wayne Moore. Moore is out of bounds for a loss. And he's taken out on the 15-yard line. Great, but the coaches have mentioned to me that Ike Harris is the most disciplined pattern runner they've ever had in St. Louis. He's the guy that really gets the big third down plays. He said you, you 
tell him one time to do a, run a certain pattern. He's got it down pat. That time he just tiptoed along the sideline, made a very difficult catch, was in the only spot that Hart could have hit him, stayed down the sideline, made an excellent turn on the ball to bring it down on the one. First down, goal to go. Full house backfield. Steve Jones. Going out in motion. Metcalf. Metcalf scores! And the Cardinals are right again. That's the way the football games get turned around. You see a big turnover, you see somebody hang on to the ball at midfield. Cardinals finally get started. Their offensive line gives Hart a little protection. They get it down to the one-yard line, get out in front, and Metcalf takes it in. Get out your computers, folks. We may need them this <laughs> afternoon. Three touchdowns already. And we're still 3.32 to play in the first period. Boston's kick is up and good. And we have a timeout. Cardinals will kick off. It's Miami 14, St. Louis 7. Gary Davis, outside, he cuts it. And uh, down he goes on the 11-yard line. Taken down by Roger Worley, the all-pro right cornerback. Ninth-year man from the University of Missouri. Greasy's has been mixing it up so well, Kurt, that uh, he just kept St. Louis off balance. <laughs> from the left flanker in. He ran it from the right the last time. They hit him on a flanker each time, and he beat Ken Reeves. He got inside position on Reeves. It's just take your choice. They're trying to line him up so they can get him one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't matter who you're against when you haven't got much linebacker help. Reeves had very little play. Once he got to the inside, all, all Chris had to do was get it down there, and that's just perfect execution. Three touchdown passes for Bob Greasy already. Yefremian's check is up and good. Well, we've had 28 points. By Michelle, short one to the 20 yard line. Up to the 30, to the 40 yard line is Kurt Dollerman, a linebacker who turns into a kickoff returner. And he's brought down by Norm Bulag. What about that show you're doing, that special children's show, John? I'll say that's more fun. There's a gal named Allison Johnson who's 13 years old, and I'll say anybody who wants to see some fun in football, just tune in uh, December 3rd at 12 o'clock Eastern time, and they'll see some. December 3rd, noon to 1, New York time. We have a flag down on this last play. A penalty against the Cardinals, I believe. Offside. Does, well, let's see, I just reading here, you've got on that show how NBC Sports televised the pro game. I think they told that one when the Raiders played in Pittsburgh. They did. Fred Dreyer on what players wear. What do they mean, on the field or off the field? It just shows how much equipment they actually have. There's, there's a lot of humor and a lot of good fun in it, and I think anybody would enjoy it. And that gal is something to be with. And a look behind closed doors, out of Washington, <laughs> of a football locker room. December 3rd on NBC. Another kickoff by Mike Michelle. And the kicking game on, on neither team has been very effective so far, and it could be a big part later in the game. And that was out of bounds, so they'll come back. And we'll have our third attempt. Looks like they're kicking medicine balls down there. Mike Michelle is not from Paris. Stanford. He's given the the only local man on the uh, Dolphin team that is local from Missouri gobbled that one up in the air. He's been injured, and Charlie Babb, who normally would be a starter, look at Coriel. He caught it in the air at the 30-yard line. You've got to be a little frustrated, Kurt, because they cannot afford to give that many turnovers to them. Well, they're going to have a timeout, and the score is still Miami 21, St. Louis 7. Ball pops up, Babs alert, gets it off, and they've got it down in their territory again. I'd say alert is the best adjective to uh, describe the Miami team today. An alert in every department. Second down, three. Leroy Harris to the 40-yard line of the Cardinals, stripped up by Mike Dawson. <laughs> Down in between 
in the two safeties, strong in the weak safety, made his full moves as if he was going to run a hook. Greasy pumped it to him when he took off down the field. Nobody was with him, thrown right on time. That's how he scored touchdown. Three touchdown passes for Nat Moore today. Four touchdown passes for the quarterback, Greasy. Three receptions to two by that man, Moore. And we may not be through. Moore now leads the NFL with 12 touchdown catches this year. The kick by a premium. And with the timeout, the score now. Miami 28, St. Louis 7. Effectiveness is coming from the fact that he's been able to isolate the receiver he intends to throw it to on, on one specific defender. When you can do that, you're in good shape. Two minute warning. And our. Gary Davis on Eric Williams. Toughest thing in the world for a linebacker to do is cover a real fine receiving offensive back. Garrett beats him as, as it will happen in most cases. Greasy puts the ball where he needs to, and they've got a first down on the 23 yard line going in. NFL 77 coming up next this game. And a look at the picture as of right now in the National Football League. Greasy, 9 out of 13. Remember, four touchdown passes already in the first half. Now whistle at the snap. Might have taken a little too much time. Which is usually against the offense. Illegal procedure against Miami. It'll be second down, 15 to go. Line of scrimmage to my, the uh, Cardinal 28. Dolphin uh, record for the most points they've ever scored in the first half. 35 against the old Boston Patriots in 1967. They're now the New England Patriots. Second down. 15 yards to go. Well, Greasy will have to stay hot if he goes for the all-time record. Most touchdown passes in the game. Sid Luckman, Adrian Burke, George Landis, <laughs> Y.A. Tittle, Joe Cap all had seven touchdown passes in one game. You probably saw all those guys play. Didn't you? Come on, come on. Greasy has four thus far. <laughs> Mike Dawson. Exactly. Mike Dawson. The first sack seven, Miami. Under the gun again. Throws on the run. Matt Moore is down inside the Cardinal 30. Carl Allen sitting on top of him. Moore number 89. This about all they can do. He comes back. They've got a long way to go for a first down. 30 yards. There are very few plays to pick that up. Greasy gets out of the pocket, throws it to Moore, hopes he can get all he can, and that's all he can go for. Field goal team is on. Yepremian, who's not had a great year, has hit seven out of 16 field goal attempts. He was the all-time percentage leader of active players. Cockcroft is past him now. This will be a 46-yard attempt, a high snap. The kick is up, and it hits the bar. It hits the crossbar. Hits the crossbar. High hmm. snap might have caused that. Well, I, he got a pretty good piece of it. It is a long way. The ball may be a little heavy. Looks like Carroll had a little after effect that trip. Let's take a look at what did happen to him. You can see Carl Allen coming in, rolling around, and over the top goes number one. Cardinals take over on their 29. As a Miami Dolphin, I'm proud that we're known for the kind of team-oriented football that leads to championships. This is Nat Moore. Let me show you one of the nicest places you could live and work. Just the names make you feel warm and healthy. Miami Beach, Coral Gables, the Coconut Grove, and the Gold Coast. There's Little Havana, Latin restaurants, and the ever-changing skyline. Miami people enjoy the outdoors and being alive. One of the ways they celebrate life is helping each other through the United Way. 
They work in daycare centers, the YMCA, mental health services, and many other agencies funded by our United Way. They make this area an even more beautiful place to live. On behalf of the volunteers of the United Way of Miami, we'd like to say thanks to you. It works for all of us, the United Way. Preceding announcement furnished to the public service by the National Football League. You know, so, so often it's a fan will say, why don't they change their defense? Well, St. Louis has been in every kind of defense, overs, unders, everything, but upside down. And Greasy just keeps picking them apart. That time he gets Davis coming underneath the flow. He makes a, a great move to get away, scores. And you can see why he's been able to get him away. There's Little backing off, taking on Eric Williams. The first thing to hit was the back of his fanny. Bob Greasy has set a Dolphin record. Whoops, it's no good. The Premier's wondering about that one. They might injure a center. So the score now in a timeout is 34 to 7. Miami. Good. 
and the parade marches on. We're still in the third period. Sunday, this coming Sunday, NFL regional game. NFL opens it all at 12.30 Eastern time. Pittsburgh plays the Jets. Pittsburgh, very impressive. A preview, maybe. The two, the two teams with the two best records in pro football this year. That game will be 4 o'clock in New York. 2 o'clock in Denver. 4 o'clock in Baltimore. Some station. They'll kick it over again. Around 80% of the time. The average is 33 and a third percent. That time they nail him. That's LeRoy Harris. Hit by John Zook. And the crowd gives the uh, cheer. All 10,000 to their left. Half empty now. <laughs> I'd say that, that's an understatement. My uh, little optimistic on Thanksgiving Day. I think Norm Boulash. It's 
one thing, AJ's been getting the best of it up front most of the time. This time he gets double teamed, gets knocked out of there. However, did not close his eyes and eventually found the ball carrier. There was no denying him getting into that end zone. Now a fan, still rooting for the Cars. Hart takes as much time as he possibly can back here to allow Ike Harris to cut underneath the whole coverage. You can see Ike coming out of the right side of your screen. When he gets there, he's all alone. Curtis Johnson can't stop him, and he goes in to score. 48-13, blocking for the point. Kick is good. Starting to kick it off. We'll be back. It's now 48-14.
Minnesota crushed the Cincinnati 42-10 and just beat the next week. There's that slant pattern. They've worked so successfully. McCreary, the tight end, number 80, running it. Jeff Severson hit him. Go so on they march. Another first down for the Dolphins. 31 for them. These kids can get sloppy. And when you have a lot of time to play and the game has really been, the outcome has been decided. And Miami hasn't allowed it to get that way. They've still played as if it's zero to zero. They're doing the same things they did in the first quarter and they're doing them just as effectively. First down, Dolphins. The Cardinal 29. Straight ahead, Nottingham. They just keep shoving that Cardinal defense back as they fire off. They're getting three, four, six, eight yards of crack. Not too many threes, a lot of fours and eights. About seven and 11. <laughs> and it's not the hard way. On the 26th of the Cardinals, second and seven. 440 remaining. Just the last of the Shula today. Right now, thank you. Malone. He came in on key, didn't he? <laughs> You don't see him laugh too many times in those sidelines or even smile. That's usually the look he has. Tense, studied. I don't have the feeling he's too tense right now. Look at those wins. He's averaged 10 wins a year in his coaching career. He piled those up in a hurry in 15 years. He's still a fairly young coach. Four minutes to go, 48-14 Miami. Third four. They have another first down. They're running Benny Malone. Benny Malone was hit by Mike Dawson. We haven't paid much notice, Kurt, but this drive has taken five minutes off the clock, and they showed no signs of giving it up. There was an author named Dorothy Parker who had the famous line, men never make passes at girls who wear glasses. You've got them all. <laughs> who says they don't catch touchdown passes from a man who wears glasses? Bob Green. <laughs> Six of them today. There's the end around to Terry Anderson. He breaks away. They had him nailed. He was tackled behind the line of scrimmage and still got away. Rookie Terry Anderson. John and I will be in Denver Sunday. Baltimore and Denver, nine wins and one loss for each team. Both teams going for the playoffs. Both are in the lead in their division. Denver leading the West, Baltimore leading the East. A Baltimore loss would put Miami only one game out. And the two teams play in Miami December 5th. That game is very big to both, both Oakland and Miami. And Miami like to have that San Diego game back where they lost in the last play of the game. Can't get them once they're over. No. First and goal to go now. Baltimore has to play New England yet. So does Miami. Miami at New England. Baltimore at Baltimore against New England. So anything can still happen. Oakland has to play the Rams. That will be a game John and I will do out in L.A. on December 4th. And the Rams have been playing very well the last month. And they better keep playing well because Oakland needs it much more than uh, it looks as if uh, L.A. will need it. They've been doing pretty good in those games they need to win. Second down, five to go for another Miami touchdown. Two and a half minutes to go. 48-14 Miami. The Browns will entertain the Rams this Sunday in Cleveland. Interesting game. Cleveland tied with Pittsburgh. Six wins, four losses. I tell you, a lot of clubs are fearful of Pittsburgh. I don't blame them. You know, that's a club that once it decides to get rolling, last year they won the last nine games in a row. They couldn't lose another one. They didn't. Two-minute warning. There it is. 48-14, Miami. Scoring high with the 52 points against the in their perfect 1972 season. Eddie Malone looks pretty good right here. Right there, he's over. And they have now broken their all-time scoring record. 50 
24 points today for the Dolphins. They're all-time high. And how about the blocks of John Nottingham? Yeah, they ought to give him three of those points. He just got the cornerback, rode him right straight into the end zone. We can all carry the ball in for six when you get blocks like Nottingham makes. He's in perfect shape. Does a good job. Leads him in the end zone, and they put six more on the board. Somebody's hurt over there, too, Kurt. Nottingham paved the way for the all-time Dolphins scoring high in a single game. Don Coriel, who came here and turned the Cardinals around. Four wins his first year. The last three years, he's averaged 10, 11, 10 wins a year and made them one of the most exciting teams in pro football. I think there's a good chance he may just take that game film, throw it in the basket and say, Nick, next case, fellas. Uh, not going to do him any good to look at that, baby. He was unhappy last Sunday at halftime. His team trailing, they were shut out. Nobody will really say what happened, but he said he picked up a bench and threw it into the lock. He got a message across anyway. His team came out, rallied, and won in the last 38 seconds as Jim Otis plugged the yard. Stars today, Gary Davis, 27. Benny Malone, second half a lot. Metcalf was checked today and fumbled twice. Bob Greasy's probably in the locker room getting a shower by now. He's in there wiping his glasses off. I don't know what they're talking about down here, getting ready for I this I think morning. they're simply trying to find out if that injured man can get up, and I don't think he can. They're probably going to bring over a stretcher if a man's been down that long. We want to thank Joe Costanza for his usual outstanding research and statistics in this game. <laughs> the usual very happy Tom Banks, who's an outstanding center. Uh, can't show much joy today either. Mike Dawson has injured the left tackle with a score of 50. Don't know what's wrong. Sure hope it isn't serious. Uh, he's been a very integral part of their defense. This hasn't been an indication of how they've played. But he falls right on his back. Mike Dawson. Excellent young tackle. They think he had a bright future. Roger Twibel and Tom Redman were our spotters today. Twibel has got his pointer with him. <laughs> the young professor on Channel 4 in Miami. Bang up job on TV. Who's the best? You're a sheriff. Somebody else. There's the kick. And they now are up to 55 points, the Dolphins. They were a 6 to 8 point underdog. And they lead this game by 41. Time out. We'll be back. The leech is critical. Don't think they'll be used either. Baltimore is sitting in a great spot. Denver. Denver's Dallas left. They have to go to Houston. Uh, this is the Eastern Division now, after the day. Miami winning here, two games back. They, they, they have to get help from somebody else to knock off Oakland, Denver, or Baltimore for them. It's not a division tie or championship, at least a shot at a wild card. Bill Dockers is in now, San Diego State. Now, look at that special division. No wild card will come out of there, but a division winner will be in the playoffs. And Steelers and Browns are tied. Pittsburgh plays at New York this week, and Cleveland entertains L.A. That's the Eastern Division for Georgia. In the West, Denver leading over by one game. Two team race there. Oh, is he hit? Oh, he's hit. Jim Otis. Cracked up by A.J. Dewey. Whoops! Now Jeffers flying here at the end of the game. I'll tell you, Mark is right. You know, Steve Toll has been watching this game all week long. He made the statement, hey, they're not going to intimidate me. And, and the Cardinal offensive line is known for doing it. They went for 58 minutes without getting into a hassle, and that's got to be some sort of a record. I know you're hot, Conrad, but, man, you've had the best taken out of you today. Uh, a win 
for the Dolphins, the bad news, Charlie Babb. Look at that sideline fella coming out and saying something to Dover. NFL 77 will not be seen today. It will be on Sunday on our regular coverage. Charlie Babb, we've just received word, has a broken collarbone. They wiped him out for the year. This penalty is going against the Cardinals. Let's listen. Personal foul, number 66, offense. By the way, has broken a collarbone twice in the same season. <laughs> 57 seconds to go. 55 14 Miami. Steve Jones. Wind it down now. They've got him back on the 25. Larry Ball, blitzing from the outside. Uh oh And the 52. Here's a scramble back up field. This is the sort of thing that you just get concerned about. <laughs> now another one going on. Here's another one. Larry Little. They're all going down here. Free for all. Steve Jones piling it in. I tell you, the initial, the initial thing started a couple plays ago when the, when the spirits got out of control. Looked to me like three Dolphins got a piece of Dober and Cardinals aren't going to handle it, and I hope some sane minds prevail out there because this isn't the sort of thing that Thanksgiving is really about. 39 seconds. Now, uh, Jill is disgusted. I imagine Coriolis is, too. Coriolis out there trying to rig him up. Somebody gave him. An elbow or a hip has started it all. This is the third flare-up we've had. Uh, You're liable to see some action be taken over this little homer because uh, Conrad Dover talking with the official. He doesn't run the league. The officials have run this situation. And uh, now he throws a helmet up. I think I'd better keep my mouth shut. I probably said enough, Kurt. Looks like Dover has to. <laughs> and the Cardinals are being penalized for unsportsmanlike conduct. <clears throat> Goes back to the 25-yard line.